And welcome to Checking In, Checking Out. So after all the stuff that you've seen, um, the place is pretty crazy and wild. What we could not show you was the clothing optional pool area. And this is the part of the motel where everything goes down. Yes. No cameras allowed, no phones allowed. And if you get caught with either one of those, guess what? You're You're out of there. Banned. Banned for For life. life. And we made our way over there. And there was kind of like a few couples like hanging out, hanging out, smoking. I noticed everybody's pretty much reading the room and trying to to to, to socialize because they know what they're there for. And um, I found out early on, Libby was inside <laughs> getting taken a shower, doing something. I'm outside with the door open. A group two men approached the the our room. One in a, in a white robe, another one dressed. We start talking. Then I later find out that if you leave your door open, you're pretty much essentially inviting people into your room. So if your door is open, people can just, not people on the street, but the, pe- the guests that are staying there <laughs> can just come in your room. If your door is closed, but your window is open, you're pretty much saying people can come in your window and watch. Watch, yep. I did notice that all the older gentlemen that were there alone were wearing robes. That was a theme I picked up on. They love the robes. As soon as they get inside, though. That robe's off. <laughs> off. And um, I did expect when we arrived to see a bunch of older people. And the first couple I saw was um, a couple maybe my age in their 40s. Mm-hmm. And they were looking. So essentially we walk in, we open a door, and there's a big bulletin board, right? With an, And then there's an arrange of colored bands. So we start looking, and pretty much whatever color you pick is tied to what you're into. If you're looking for a third, if you're looking for a woman, if you're bisexual, there were some that even said looking for uh, black male. Black male. So, for instance, the red, white, and blue one, I remember this one said, you're a couple and you're open to anything. So you put that on, and then people know. The yellow one, I think maybe was uh, you're a single bi female. There was also just single female looking to join a couple. And there, I have a red one on. <laughs> there, what I don't remember what that one means. The red one is um, couples looking for couples to swing. No, that's this one. Oh, the red, white, and blue. I remember that because I was like, "Wow, that's so American." And instantly, we're looking, and a couple walks in behind us, and they're like, "Oh, nobody looks at that. All you have to do is socialize and get in there." And made us feel nerdy. Made me feel (laughs) like the biggest nerd. And I was like, I'm not looking at the sign. I'm just standing here. But I was looking. And then we walked in. They have two jacuzzis, a heated pool, uh, dim lighting. They have TVs playing adult content, pornography. I'd say XXX films. Yes. And um, just men. Oh, um, don't forget the two beds. (laughs) Two beds <laughs> with white clean sheets. Clean sheets. That were later acquired by uh, couples in the open for everybody to watch. The 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 sheets were nice sheets, but if you pull the sheet back, there is a either vinyl or rubber uh, cover over the mattress. <laughs> I mean, it explains for the squirters out there, you know. Well, not only that, but people are getting out of hot tubs and going on the beds oh, or getting yeah. out of the pool and going on the bed. I guess what they do is they'll ask the man if there's a if there's a couple, the people will ask the man and then the man will say, yes, we're open to this or that or whatever. I yeah, we, we all found this, out, this information from one of the older guys, which she called him an OG. He said he's been. He pretty much sounded like he's. This this wasn't his first rodeo. He's been in that in that lifestyle, I guess, for so long. And he told us the way it works is pretty much if there's a couple, yeah, the guy has. You have to ask the guy for permission. And I thought that was bogus because I'm all about consent. It was wild though when we first walked in there. Like you said, we did the hot tub for a while. Then um, I got out. We went in the swimming pool, and the swimming I, pool. I was naked at this point. I think you still had your swimming trunks on. Yeah. I was totally naked. I think I had a thong on. Um, yeah. There was another, um, there was, I think, what there, I want to say there was two uh, Hispanic couples. So I was like, okay, cool. Made me feel, not that I was un- uncomfortable, but I was like, okay. Because I had asked her essentially in the beginning. I'm like, man, I don't see any brown couples in here. 
and then it got busier and busier. And wh what I also noticed is that this place closed, the pool closes at five in the morning, right? So a lot of people will come into the, into the pool area, lounge for a little while, go back to the room, and it's just back and forth. Um, we also found out that the weekend, we went on a Monday, and that previous weekend, there was about 100 people there. And there was a lot of uh, funny business going on in there. Um, let's just say people were jumping on the on the choo choo train, all aboard. And um, I'm yeah. sad we missed it, but I'm glad that we went on on a time where it wasn't that busy because it it is a little bit intimidating. I was intimidated, but because I, I don't know what I'm doing. I never you, did this kind of thing before. I didn't know, even know if, if, I, if that was something that I wanted to do. I mean. I didn't go into it thinking like, oh, I would swing. But in my head, I'm like, I guess it's not off the table. Yeah. And, and say, same for me. Um, it's wild. It's the wildest thing I've ever seen. Yeah. For me, too. Never experienced anything. And like I've it. seen a lot of shit. And uh, it'd be, I mean, I wonder how common this is. I've never heard of it. But um, I don't know if, if you guys have experienced anything like this or you guys have anything back where you're from. That's like this because I have never heard of anything like this. But it well, was, I've heard of it, but I've never seen it in real life. Well, I mean, I figured this is the States. I mean, Vegas, I don't know if Vegas has anything like this, but. And I feel like everybody that was there was respectful of the not only the rules, but people's personal space and, you know, what approaching people, people were very respectful. Yeah, people. Nobody, were nobody approached me. You said somebody approached you, right? Um, yeah, there was a. Um, well, the guy he asked me if you know if they were looking looking for a third, essentially, and then I did hear <laughs> another guy ask another couple if they were looking for a third. Um, so if eventually, as you know, the the night went along, you know, her, you know, I eventually took off my boxers. You know, we're in the <laughs> pool, we're swimming. <laughs> Um, was kind of iffy about the jacuzzi because we don't know how much fluids there's <laughs> floating in there. Um, so anyways, her and I, you know, we're, you know, we, we're playing and, um, uh, there's another couple over there playing on the bed. We're over here on this other bed here. And, uh, he waves me on over. So I told Libby, let's go over there. She's like, oh, we don't want to intrude on them. I'm like, no, him. So he waved me over. We get on the bed. <laughs> Not next to them, but on the bed. We're doing our thing. They're doing our their thing. And um, next thing you know, I look up, and there's a, a white man <laughs> sitting in a chair, jerking McGurkin, just watching us. Just looking around. And um, we got out, out of the pool pretty late. 4 a.m. Um, 4 a.m. That's why we're doing this podcast, I mean, this uh, segment in another hotel. Because we want to do this the day after before we check out. But we woke up we were borderline to check out. We were tired. We were tired. I mean, it was... I noticed when we're checking out in the morning, a guy pulls up to the gate. Because as soon as you get there, you pull up to the gate. And you, mm -hmm. They don't let you in the gate. You have to check in first. So he pulls up. He gets out the car. And I hear another guy from inside the parking lot yell out his name. Hey, how's it going? <laughs> and says his name. So I told him, I'm like, man, I'm pretty sure a lot of people are regulars here. So they must have seen us and thought, man, here comes the new the new guy. The new, yeah. Here comes the new couple. Here comes the new meat. The new meat. Um, <laughs> grand old time. I wasn't nervous. Even when um, we were playing, um, I wasn't nervous. It I was wasn't nervous. I won't lie. It was actually kind of hot knowing that people were watching. Yeah, it was exciting, and um, I wasn't nervous. I thought I would be more nervous. I think if there was more people in there I probably would have been but um overall it was fun I would I do it again I, yeah I would check it out again um I'd do it again this was uh an experience we earlier today a couple of times she's like oh my god I man. can't believe I can't, we did I that I couldn't believe it either but it was fun shout out to Mon Chalet would you do it again I would any I regrets would. no regret uh the only regret that I would have is I got a little comfortable and I started getting in the jacuzzi. I mean, essentially, I mean, I wonder how many fluids are in there. But you didn't put your mouth in there. Yeah, but still, you never know. But anyways, well, they other than that, no regrets. Um, everything was, it was a fun time, a fun experience, and I would do it again. Swim. Another thing, too, if you don't want to rent a room, 
you could just pay for admission fee to just go into the, the, pool, the pool area. Where I all the action like, happens. I think it's like $30. Um, so very organized and uh, a lot of fun. What they do need to do is upgrade their triple X content. It was a little <laughs> outdated. Um, <laughs> they had something for everybody, though. They had something for everybody except BBW content. <laughs> they didn't have any BBW. That gay, lesbian, bondage, yes. 70s, 80s, yeah, who 90s. Knows? Yeah. And uh, I, I like the ivy on the outside of the building. The ivy is so pretty. It's so pretty, and it gives it, like, some type of character. I, I like it a lot. All right. That's it. That's it, folks. If you're in Denver and you are want to just get away for the weekend with your significant other or you want to swing, get on down there. Or you want to go by yourself and watch. Or go by yourself. If you're, <laughs> if you're a single, white, older male and you want to go <laughs> jerk, make jerk sure you bring your girl. robe because these dudes love drink. And they were all very nice and respectful. No yeah. one touched us that we didn't want us to be touched by. No one did anything weird. Yeah. Shout out to um, Mon Chalet again. You can check that out. Shout out to Mon Chalet. <laughs> so this concludes our first episode on Checking In. This is your host, Libby Higgins. And co-host, Harry. All righty. <laughs> See you next time. Bye. Bye.